The Amazon HTML Converter Tool for Amazon Product Descriptions was created to help people easily convert over their current Amazon HTML by pasting the HTML into this box so that you can see a preview of what it would look like on Amazon and then, of course, see the new HTML that you convert it to to get into the new format so that you can quickly paste that in just by copying this and then pasting it into your Amazon product description. The reason we did this is you'll see the news listed below about Amazon banning Amazon product HTML. And we regularly update this post with the information. You'll see that there are uh, some deadlines here for the UK and US as far as when the product description um, HTML will be removed by Amazon. So they've extended this, I know, for the US until July 30th. And maybe they'll extend it some more. We'll update this post as things continue. But this tool is currently in beta. And if you have feedback, hit this button down below to submit tool feedback and let us know if you like it, if there's some things that aren't working or features that you would request we add to this. So how does this work? When you paste in your Amazon product HTML into this box, you can then apply rules to it based on how you want to convert it. So for example, if you want to delete line breaks, you can do that. Or what most people will probably want to do is replace the HTML paragraph tags with line break tags. So for example, if you use this function, let's just go look at the HTML preview. You can see that there are paragraph tags in here now. You can see an open and closing paragraph tags. Now if you apply this rule to replace HTML paragraph tags with line breaks tags, you'll see that the paragraph tags are removed and that there are two line breaks added so that you retain the integrity of how the original text looked. However, it's using the new BR tags which are allowed to be used and removes the HTML um, paragraph tags. Now there are other fancy things you can do here like if you want to get rid of the bold text completely you can delete the bold tags so if I do that you can see it deletes on the right hand side. You can also replace bold text with uppercase text. So let's just go back to normal. You can see the bold text now if I replace bold text with uppercase text you can see that it applies that rule. Another thing that you can do is if you want to take uppercase text and do a couple of things with it, you can replace uppercase words with title case words. So what that means is it capitalizes the first letter of each word when you are doing the uppercase function here. Now, you can also replace uppercase words with lowercase words. Now, when you do that, it's going to do its best to still maintain the capital letter on the first letter of the sentence so that you don't have to go through and clean those up. So everything should work as intended. The one thing that the uppercase rules aren't good at identifying would be things like acronyms. So if you did have, um, let's say your business name in, in here, so you can see in my original HTML, I have the business name. And if I apply the lowercase rules to business name, it's still, of course, puts that in lowercase. So you have to be aware of that. If you have any acronyms or if you have a business name that you need to remain uh, uppercase, you'll have to go in and you know replace that manually. So I hope this tool helps everybody. We're going to be releasing new features and updates and leave us your feedback so that we can implement your ideas.